An auto repairman was driving along a highway in Georgia when he saw a shape at the edge of the road. Unsure of exactly what it was, he got out of his pickup truck and cautiously approached. What he then found would leave him stunned, but taking action would be ultimate proof of his character. The man's name was Brian Collins, and it was his work as a mechanic that had him driving along Highway 72 at 10 a.m. that day. The highway runs from Athens, Georgia, all the way to the South Carolina border, and Collins had set out to fix a car stranded on the route. What unfolded, however, was by no means part of his job. Collins had not always been an auto repairman, though. In the past, he had made a lot of bad decisions, and he'd even been on the wrong side of the law. But over a number of years, Collins had gone through a process of piecing his life back together and what he saw on the highway gave him a chance to prove just how much he had changed. Collins was once a drug addict, had been involved in cocaine production, a crime for which he'd served 10 years in federal prison. While he was locked up, however, Collins had taken a hard look at his life and his decisions, and he did not like the person he had become. Speaking to NBC News, he said that he had been involved in a string of bad situations. However, he had made a decision to change and to change for the better, and before the encounter on the highway, Collins had been clean for half a decade. Collins was in Madison County when he stopped his truck on the highway, and after exiting his vehicle, the mechanic discovered exactly what the shape was. Shockingly, it was precisely what he had feared it might be. He later told NBC News, I had seen something out of the corner of my eye, and he had to ask himself, what the hell is going on? Collins thought that he had spotted a baby beside the road, and indeed, crawling ever closer to the highway was a baby girl. The mechanic acted quickly though, slowing down his vehicle to stop before getting out and scooping her up from the roadside. In doing so, moreover, there's little doubt that he saved her life. The baby had a fine head of strawberry blonde curls, which had perhaps caught Collins' eye and alerted him to the danger that she was in. On being rescued though, the toddler was almost entirely unhurt, except for a few slight scratches. Collins, nevertheless, called the police so that the baby could be taken into safe hands. However, before they arrived, he had to soothe the crying toddler, so he played gospel music to her from his phone. Collins would ultimately stay with the child for over two hours. With the baby out of danger, there was, however, still the mystery of where she had come from, and eventually, the police managed to establish how the child had come to the edge of the Georgia Highway. She was called Emily Pickens, and she was said to have been napping in her family's home in Carleton, Georgia. Her parents, Denise and Timothy Pickens, had apparently been in the yard doing some household chores, and he had told some older children to watch her. When the parents returned, however, they discovered that Emily was nowhere to be found. The scenario has to be every parent's worst nightmare. The couple had no idea that their child was crawling ever closer to a busy highway, and it would have taken a leap out of the imagination to know just how she had gotten to such a dangerous place. When they realized that the baby was missing, the Pickens searched desperately for their precious child. After a fruitless effort, though, the panicked parents decided to call the police. The 15-month-old toddler had crawled 300 yards from their home and into woodland, where she had then fallen down an embankment before heading towards the highway. Thankfully, having been spotted by Collins, the child was out of danger. When the couple learned that Emily was safe, it must have been an enormous relief, though her location came as a shock, and having heard the news, her father set out to collect her from the side of the highway. When Timothy Pickens arrived, though, he was met by police, and they wanted to ask him a few questions. However, desperate to reach his child, the father apparently acted a little too stringently, and an unfortunate scene developed. The father apparently approached while shouting that Emily was his child but a scuffle developed, and the situation escalated. The cops therefore cuffed him, and he was later hit with charges of child cruelty, obstruction, and reckless conduct. Pickens justified his actions to Eleven Alive though, saying, All I wanted to do was hold her, to make sure she was safe, and they wouldn't let me do that. Following the events, the family were hopeful that the police would drop the charges against Timothy. Meanwhile, Denise Pickens, Emily's mother, only had praise for the hero of the day, Bryant Collins. She told WXIA-TV that Collins was an angel. Talking to ABC News, Collins for his part said, It made me feel good that I could be in society and do good. And little Emily Pickens has that changed man to thank for saving her on the side of a Georgia highway. After the rescue received widespread attention in the media and online, Collins was swamped with positive feedback. And in response, he had some words of advice. Speaking to Eleven Alive, he said, No matter how bad your situation has been, because most of these people that know me know that I have had some bad situations. That if you just keep trying, keep trying and make a serious effort to want to be changed, with God's help, you can be changed.